Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I got the best settings for chapter 5 of Fortnite. So yeah, be sure to watch to the end if you guys want the new best settings for Nintendo Switch for chapter 5. But if you guys are curious on what accessories I have on my controller in this video, they are from Play Vital. The link to them is at the top link of the description. And as always, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's It helps out the channel a lot and I've seen majority of people watching my videos videos haven't even subscribed so yeah just hit that subscribe button let's get to 200k and also if you guys want to help support me which is the best way to support me and it is completely free i would appreciate if you guys could use code zenter in the fortnite item shop this is completely free and it is the best way to support me and literally takes five seconds just to type in so yeah i'd really appreciate it but yeah before we get into these settings i want to show you guys some gameplay to show you guys how insane you can become if you're using these settings right here so yeah without further ado let's just get right into it oh my god why is it scoped sometimes sometimes it's not it really is confusing what Oh, what the heck? That was like 200 something damage, bro. This sniper is OP, bro. What the heck? Damn, bro. This sniper is OP, I'm telling you. This sniper, bro. What? Bro. Oh my god, I'm so low. Holy crap. <laughs> that guy keeps getting teased by me, bro. But I'm not going out there fighting. I probably should.
Where is 1v1? Let's go! Let's go, guys. Alright, so let's just get right into my settings. Fortnite hasn't changed at all a lot, but there has been some changes. So yeah, let me just go through it right now. So first of all, brightness. I have my brightness on 100 and colorblind mode on Tritanope and colorblind strength on 10. The reason I have it like this is because my game looks a lot better with these settings. So yeah, if you guys want your game to look like mine, go ahead and put it on this. Show FPS, of course, on on. And let's say you're lagging or something like that you can see if it's your fps dro dropping or something like that so yeah be sure to put this on on and off and disable on these two moving over here they've actually swapped the volume settings to here audio settings but uh yeah before it was like over on the fourth slot i don't know but yeah it's here now and for my audio settings nothing much to be said what is important right here is visual sound effects you want to be sure you have visual sound effects on on because this gives you a huge advantage when playing fortnite because it shows you on your screen wherever people are shooting from and literally every single pro uses this or not every single pro but majority does so i would really recommend you have this on on it's a huge benefit and here are the rest of my audio settings moving over here i have matchmaking region on europe you guys want to make sure you have your matchmaking region on wherever you're located at for instance me europe because yeah i live in europe and if you're in the na east na west go ahead and put it on that moving over here toggle sprint i have this on on auto open doors on on you want to make sure you have auto open doors on on because let's say you accidentally edit a door and yeah it's kind of annoying to press a button to try and get out of it with this you can just instantly get out of it so yeah be sure to put auto open doors on on mantle activation on hold jump we've seen the new feature where you can mantle up walls and stuff like that and it works just fine with it especially if you're using my binds you want to be sure you have mantle activation on hold jump so yeah be sure you put this on hold jump this on press jump as well when we move down here let me show you guys my preferred item slots so on the first slot i have smg G shotgun assault rifle and then minis and med kits for instance it could be any healing but yeah the reason i have it like this is because i can just shoot my shotgun and then switch right over to the smg or shoot my shotgun go straight over to the ar yeah i find this a lot easier but this is personal preference but if you guys like how i have it you guys can go ahead and copy it all right and getting down here you want to be sure you have auto confirm edits on both when using my binds it's really easy and fast to edit with auto confirm edits on both literally how i edit it's super simple i just press edit here select and confirm and to reset i just edit and reset it's really easy so yeah i would really recommend this because you will be editing a lot faster especially with my binds which i will be getting into later so yeah just have auto confirm edits on both and if you guys need this go ahead all right getting over here i have my damage number scale on 125 percent i like how clear it is when i hit somebody so yeah 125 percent if you like to see that as well because let's say you're getting a headshot and something like that i like how it looks when it just pops up on your screen like that it's really clean so yeah i have my damage numbers on list because i like how it looks but yeah this is all personal preference but if you guys want that go ahead and put it on list hud scale i have this on 70 percent fortnite automatically puts this on 100 percent which is way too big in my opinion so yeah i would recommend you have this on 70 because it doesn't cover up your entire screen and yeah it just i feel like 70 you can just see everything perfectly and it's not like you can't see your hud scale and it, it's not like it's popping up in your screen so yeah i feel like 70 percent is just perfect and this i have it on on if you guys need this go ahead gyro aiming i don't have gyro aiming on on and i would not recommend it because you will be building like this and aiming and stuff like that it is pretty hard so yeah i would just 
recommend you disable this but of course it's personal preference but i would not recommend it getting over here i have controller auto run on on of course build immediately of course getting down here i have vibration on off the reason i have vibration on off is because i don't like the feeling of my controller vibrating every time i'm getting hit or something like that and i've heard this can actually mess with your aim as well but i'm not too sure and i just don't like it anyway so yeah i would recommend you have this on off but it's personal preference so yeah quick weapon i don't have this on on and if you guys need this go ahead so here comes my sensitivity all right so first of all i have my build mode sensitivity on 1.5 and i have my edit mode sensitivity on 1.9 used advanced option of course i have this on on when we get down here i have look horizontal speed on 45 percent and look vertical speed on 45 percent too i have turning horizontal boost on zero percent and vertical boost on zero percent as well and getting down here i have as look horizontal speed on 11 percent and as look vertical speed on 11 percent too no boost again on the ads turning and getting down here i play on linear i would recommend linear for my settings of course because or else it would just feel off and stuff like that so yeah of course put this on linear and aim assist strength of course why would you not have this on 100 i would really recommend 100 because it's literally free aim assist all right so getting down here i have my left stick dead zone and right stick dead zone both on 13 percent i've never experienced stick drift or anything like that since putting this on 13 percent so yeah i really recommend 13 percent for dead zone it's uh, really good and i've never experienced any stick drift or anything like that so yeah i would recommend 13 percent all right so getting into my binds let me just get into the most important stuff about my binds and then i'm gonna give you guys the rest of my binds after so you guys can just go ahead and copy them to make sure they all work out but yeah let me just explain why i have some of these binds the way i do so first of all jump right here i jump on right stick and then I just crouch on B instead. And also for sprinting, a lot of you guys have been asking me, how does your sprinting even work? So basically, I just move forward and then I press the right D-pad like this. It's really simple and straightforward. And if we get over to the editing tab, you guys could see, like I said earlier, I edit on the left stick but I confirm on R and reset on L. So like said, when resetting, I just have to press these two buttons right here. But when I have to edit, I have to press edit and select and confirm like this. It's really simple and it's really straightforward. I love these binds, so yeah. But yeah, with that being said, let me give you guys the rest of the binds to make sure you guys get all of the binds right. So yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these settings help you guys out for Chapter 5 of Fortnite. And be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And also, like said, if you guys are curious on the products that are used in this video on my Pro Controller, just check out the top link of the description. And I would appreciate if you guys could use code ZENTER in the Fortnite item shop. Like said, this takes 5 seconds and it is the best way to support me. But yeah, that was it for this video. I love you guys and peace out.